welcome back to Seasonally Productive. Today we are making ketchup. It is boiling right now, I am going to turn it down. But what I have done is chopped up a bunch of tomatoes up to almost the full line of this tomatoes. These are, I think they're Roma. I got them at the farmer's market. Um, and last time I made this, I tried it with just more, I think they might have been like ox heart or they might have even just been regular, like, I don't know, hothouse or whatever tomatoes. Um, but this time I'm trying Roma. So we will see how I like that, if it yields as much. But it's probably about 12 cups of tomatoes in here. This is my biggest pot, you know, general big pot size, Dutch oven size that comes in a pot set. So I have tomatoes in there chopped up. You don't need to chop them real fine or dice them real special or peel them or anything the way that I make mine. And then I have two large onions, which, oh my goodness, were so fierce. My eyes hurt so badly. When I added in the garlic, we did two, equivalent of two bulbs of garlic. I had to smash them with my eyes pretty much like squeezed as tight as I could because they hurt so badly from the onions. I don't know why I never remember to do onions last so that I can clean up and then not worry about them. So that's what I have going on this pot. It's boiled down for about five minutes. I stirred it. Now it's come to a boil because I switched it to two different burner. And we're going to turn it down and let it simmer. I think I am going to add some more tomatoes into this because you'll see that it has already sunk down quite a bit just from now being heated. And we're gonna let that cook for quite a while. I'm gonna add in some, last time I added in dates. Now if I had a handful of dates, I would have put them in. But at the grocery store yesterday, I don't know, there was about half of the things on my list I could not get, including the dates that I wanted. So, we don't have dates. I'm gonna have to sweeten it with probably some honey. And I guess I could, actually I might even throw in, I'm gonna throw in a handful of raisins. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I'm gonna get this turned down, stir it, and catch up with you later. Well, I cut some more tomatoes to do the last of them. These are gonna be just canned diced tomatoes. And I think that's the last of the tomatoes that I have right now. I have some green ones in the garden yet, and those will probably get diced up too, but I didn't peel any tomatoes this year. And all I have left is diced tomatoes and then our tomatillo enchilada salsa verde sauce. So I think I'm getting away without peeling any tomatoes this year. Very exciting. Again, if you have dates, I highly recommend using them. It turns out so good. Conventional, processed, commercial ketchup like Heinz, those types of ketchups have so much sugar in them and I really try not to eat processed sugars or even really anything from the sugarcane plant or even like coconut sugar. I really just, it, my body doesn't feel good when I'm eating sugar like that kind of sugar. I prefer to eat fructose from fruits and root vegetables, their starches and things like that uh, give me the sweetness that I, my body likes. However, I am a candy junkie so it's really hard for me to stay off the sugar. So if I can keep it out of everything else and then just have a few treats once in a while, that seems to be what works okay or at least a little bit better for me. So making our own ketchup was really a game changer. Last year I did cranberry and rose hip ketchup, wild cranberry, which is actually high bush cranberries, which actually aren't in the cranberry family, but they're called high bush cranberries. I mix those with rose hips and I will be making that again this year. We just haven't gone and picked any yet and our kids aren't crazy about it. It is a different taste. It's not like conventional ketchup and we really love it on our wild meat, but I wanted to have ketchup to replace what they call ketchup, what they know of as ketchup, like store-bought ketchup, because I have quit buying it. And they really like having, 
you know, a ketchup condiment, and we do too. So last time I made this, our daughter actually was eating it out of the pot like applesauce. So it's really good. And I thought 12 little quarter pints was going to be enough for the year, but we'd already gone through a few of them by the end of September. So I need to, instead of just rationing them and you know, depriving ourselves, I'm going to just make some more because it's so easy. And you can pretty much add whatever you want into this. Peppers, um, add some hot pepper, that would be good too. Again, just because this was made primarily with my kids in mind, I'm keeping it fairly simple. And the final step for me is to water bath can these little quarter pints. Of course you wouldn't have to, you could freeze them. If you want a proper recipe, I'm gonna link to my friend at D6 Homestead. She has a stevia ketchup recipe over on her channel. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to stick around. I have more preservation recipe type videos coming up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.